All right, how's everybody doing? Uh, here to do uh, say a few things and uh, talk about Talladega. Hope my volume sounds good, to everybody and stuff. Uh, you know, uh, before I get into the Talladega thing here, Talladega race, uh, just want to say to all you guys that uh, played that, that played in my pick five contest. I don't know if you guys seen the video I put out, but uh, go check out Righteous Redneck. Uh, just type in Righteous Redneck and it went, and you can find his channel on there. And uh, he does a pick five contest for every race, every cup race. So uh, go check him out. Uh, he does a great job on it. Uh, you know, uh, like we said, with the way NASCAR has been and all that, I quit doing the pick five contest uh, just for that and just for my life right now. I'm just too busy to let people down. You know, I hate whenever somebody would win the contest and take me a week to ship it. You know, it was just overwhelming at the time. And I've been involved in iRacing and all that, which... Which means my team and I racing done great last week. We dominated Chicago. I mean, dominated it. And uh, that was a blast. And, uh, you know, my video that I put out on the Confederate flag, a lot of people, you know, personally, a lot of people said that I was racist for saying my beliefs on the Confederate flag. Well, you know, one of my good buddies and one of my teammates is a black guy, and me and him work on setups together. So... If anybody thinks I'm racist, you can take it and stick it where the sun don't shine. Okay? Uh, you know, we work every day on setups. He's, he understands. He understands what it's about. So, just can't understand why the rest of the world don't understand it. So, uh, but yeah, that's just the way it is. And uh, let's see, what else I'm going to talk about? Uh, congratulations to my buddy Charlie Nascar. Uh, he's been a big Ryan Blaney fan for many, many years. And, uh, Congratulations to him, and hopefully Brian will continue it. Uh, going back to this Bubba Wallace deal, before I get into the race, with the news they claim they found in the garage, uh, I just want to ask you guys one quick question. Tell me what you think. You know, the garage are locked. They're, they're on limits. Only crew members, certain crew members, not all crew members, only certain crew members can get in that garage. And they're watched by 24-hour surveillance. They can see they got cameras everywhere. they got everything they need. To do that, so if this actually really happened, why is NASCAR not bringing out the proof? Why they not show who done it? I mean, because they can tell, they can see who walked right in the garage. So, you tell me, tell me what you think about that. Uh, personally, I think it's a just a guide for people to uh, for them to keep living off this story. You know, the ESPN kind of over the last few days have kind of dropped the Bubba thing, so they figured, hey, we got to do something to get our name back in. The, main headlines so that's just my take on it you know you can say what you want to but it had to be a crew member if it, if it actually really happened so uh get that off my chest and let you guys know uh for talladega let's just talk about that a few minutes uh you know like i told you guys i'm not supporting this car no more i'm just why i watch a race just because i'm bored uh i do mainly i racing because it's a hell of a lot funner and get on there with your friends and do it, but Talladega race, uh, it was okay race, uh, you know, it's just like a typical Talladega, you're gonna have guys lay at the back of the pack like Truex did and a few others, and then get wrecked at the end, I mean, that's just what happens, uh, Jimmy Johnson got took out by Kevin Harvick, but Harvick didn't mean to do it, it was just one of them deals, uh, there at the end, the fuel was gonna be an issue, and, uh, some guys run out, right as they went back to green and some didn't uh i think if they would have had a caution there at the end we'd have seen a whole different ending to the race and uh ryan blaney wouldn't have won that race but it worked out it was meant to be and coming there toward the end ryan blaney fly he flying out wrecked uh who was it the guy above him i can't remember but he running the guy above <laughs> eric jones eric jones eric jones had the race one but uh blaney come up this punted him in the wall but hey you gotta what you do in the lost laps you you got two below you two above you it's just up in there eric amarola slides around there finishes third or fourth sliding backwards so that was cool but uh yeah but yeah i just want to let you guys know i've had a lot of questions about that contest pick five contest check out rochester redneck he's got some really cool stuff and you guys would love to go over there and play this contest and he's even doing like a standings thing so go get in that contest and do it and uh by all means and uh thanks for all you new subscribers 
that have subscribed to my channel, you know, I'll be doing some videos, some more video stuff in the future. Like I said, I'm not just busy right now, and uh, you know, for all all the people supporting me, I really appreciate it. I figure everybody should stand in what they believe in. I do not stand for racism. I think it's horrible. It's a horrible thing. And if some guy did put a noose in that garage, he ought to be put in prison. I mean, that, that, that's just ridiculous if somebody actually really did do it. But uh, I still stand with the Confederate flag, and I still believe in it. Nobody ain't going to change my mind about that. It don't stand for racism. It stands for history. And uh, a lot of people are going to look at you and say, hey, if you like the Confederate flag, you're a racist person. That's a total lie. Don't let people fool you. Don't let people believe me. Don't let people put you down because of it. Okay? If people can wear Black Lives Matter shirts and go to the store and destroy cities and businesses, then why can't somebody fly a Confederate flag? You know, it's just the way, way I look at it. So, uh,. I love everybody. I love each and every one of you. Whether you like my decision on this stuff or whether you don't. I just try to say it is. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not one of these big YouTubers that's going to kiss ass to get views and get uh, ratings and this and that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say how, what I think about it and say how I feel. Today's race, I give it a 4 out of 10 because the ending was exciting. The ending made the race look like something, but if you go and you overlook the whole entire race, it was not that great. So, uh, maybe we'll get back to some better racing next week at Pocono. At least it'll be spread out and he'll come back into the driver's hands. It won't be just all, you know, it's wide open. Pray for, pray you don't get wrecked. But yeah, guys, that's my opinion on it. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.